Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Looky what I got. You know, that darn recommended or suggested for you, you know, part of Amazon. Golly, that darn thing gets me quite often. Hmm. I had a look at these colored pencils um, when it came up in my recommended list. Um, and it got such high reviews. It was almost five stars across the board. Looked at the reviews and I mean they had nothing but praise for these pencils. Now I do take the reviews sometimes with a grain of salt because yeah they're not all true reviews. You know some get paid for them. Some are you know kind of computer generated reviews. So yeah, I, I do take them kind of with a grain of salt, but uh, overall these are supposed to be awesome. It is 160 colored pencils by Coolbink. I've never heard of that brand before. It says they are artist quality, rich and vibrant colors. So it comes in this nice tin. I have not opened them yet and that's why I apologize for the glare. <laughs> there is cellophane wrap. I have not looked at these at all yet. On the back, you can see, minus the glare, <laughs> it is nighttime, so I have all my lights on, that all of the pencils do have a color number and a name. So hopefully that will be printed on each pencil. Sometimes we get the names and numbers and stuff and then they're not on the, the coloring medium. I know that happens quite often with markers and it's like if you're going to have a colored name for them, put them on the marker. <laughs> so let's open these up and let's take a look at these. These are supposed to be quite soft. They are called soft core uh, pencils. Now of course we know they're not going to be as soft as Prismacolor because there's just not another pencil out there that's as soft as Prismacolor. We do have some that come kind of close. Um, Castle Art is a good example. They are nice soft um, pencils and I am going to be doing um, an additional review of the Castle Arts. I did do a review and swatch quite a while ago of the Castle Art pencils. Um, but I have an update to that so I'm hoping to record that video shortly so stay tuned for that. Okay so isn't this pretty? Love the colors in that. Let's take a look. Oh I do like it when the cover comes off completely. Um, I am not a fan of the hinged ones because you just need more room on your desk you know to have the tin open. Let's look at these. Okay, you definitely can smell the paint on them. If you're, you know, sensitive to the odors and stuff, you'll probably want to leave these open for a while. It uh, does have this card in here. It says Amazon.com Coolbank. Okay. Dear customers, thank you for choosing our product. Your satisfaction is our greatest concern. If you have any problems, feel free to contact us at. If you are satisfied, then uh, they're asking to have you leave them a review and they do give um, an email address and their Instagram ID. Cool Bank Store. Okay, so let's look at the pretties. Ooh. Okay, let's pick a darker one so we can actually take a look. It says premium. Okay, the name is on here. Let, let me zoom in a little bit. So we do have, and it's very nice and easy to read. It's larger print um, in silver on the barrel. If you can see that, this one is called Dark Salmon. And it is C063. So very easy to read. I like that. The barrel of the pencil, as you can see, is a matte black. So again, this is going to show very easy on that black. And then the tip of the pencil is color coordinated with, you know, the color of the barrel. We'll see how accurate that color is. Uh, most of the time, especially in your budget friendlies, some of these colors are 
off quite a bit and most of the time you're better off going by the color of the lead. As you can see these come pre-sharpened. They do have a blunt tip to them but not real blunt. Um, a lot of pencils come with a very flat top to them. These aren't too bad. So here we have I can see they're not going to go in any particular order. <laughs> we do have some greens, yellows, a few light pastel -y pinks, oranges, and reds. And of course, they come in these flimsy trays that have these cutouts that still make it impossible for the, to get them out of the tins. Here we have some more pinks getting into dark reds. Some more greens, light blues. Oh, these are pretty. So we are going to swatch these out. And I still have you zoomed in. I apologize. You guys can't see all the awesomeness. Look at all the blues. A lot of purples. Get into some real deep reds there. Then I think we have one more tray. So there's four trays. And these kind of got bunched up a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're all kind of bunched up. We'll straighten them out as we swatch, but we have all of our earth tones. Looks like we have some metallics. There's, I think, three of them here, and we have a silver over here. So, yeah, we have some metallics, too. So we'll see how the metallics swatch, if we can see the tip, if, they, we, if there's, there is a different look to them. So... They are kind of shimmery looking versus the regular lead. So we'll see how that comes out on paper. So let's just start from the first tray. I'm not even going to attempt with this size of a set to, you know, a lot of times I'll try to, you know, go at least through the yellows first and, you know, get through the oranges well that's going to be really hard to do with this many trays of pencils so we are going to just swatch them out in the order that they are in the trays like i said this is going to be a long video grab a drink sit back if you enjoy swatching videos and this is the video for you. If you don't enjoy swatching videos, you probably didn't click on this at all anyhow. And you're not watching this. So, for those of you still with me, I am going to take the time. And that's why I said this is going to be long. I am going to take the time, especially now that I know there's the name and the number on each pencil, to write them in. Many times in the past, I only took the time to write in the number. I found when I tried to put these in the order that I wanted to, it was really a big pain that I did not have the name here. So I may write it fast and kind of messy, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and write that all in. I've had comments in the past where you guys said you didn't mind that. So let's zoom in a little so we can actually see these pretty colors. Um, the very first one is white and this is all of them are c dash and i'm assuming just like artesas they all start with an a i'm assuming that's for artesas so the c's here i'm assuming stands for cool bank um so i'm not going to write the c i'm just going to write the number so this is white zero zero one And even though this won't show up, this will give me an idea of if they're smooth or not. Oh my gosh, they are. These are wax-based. Now you did not see that at all, but oh, it felt, it went down very nicely. Now I am coloring on pencil paper or paper that works really well with pencil because it has more of a tooth to it. I'll link this down below too. I'll link the pencils. Um, and this paper, this is uh, Spring Hill Digital. Hmm. I will go ahead and link it down below. It works really, really well with colored pencils. Um, I just thought of something else I was going to say. Okay, it, it'll come to me. <laughs> this one is Apple Green. Now, because of my lights under here, it glares on the silver. Uh, 043. 
So let's see what it colors like with an actual color. Apple green. Oh, these are very smooth. Oh my gosh. Bright pigment too. Ooh, I am liking so far. Here is Light Lime 045. Maybe we'll, uh, once we're done swatching these, we'll go on the back of the page and we'll pick out maybe like a yellow, orange, and red and see how they blend together too. Now these two are very similar. This one is a little bit lighter though. These feel nice in the hand. They are lighter, I think, than your um, artist quality pencils. They don't feel real light. I'm not sure what the wood is, um, but they do feel kind of light. Green, yellow, this one is 044. So I will, once I'm done swatching, when I make, you know, go through to create my own color chart, I will go back through all of these, get the yellows together, etc., etc. That's a whole nother process. <laughs> 150. Willow green. I mean, I have to swatch these out like probably three, four times in order to finally get them in the order I want to. <laughs> So it takes me a long time to make a color chart. Wow, the laydown of these colors is awesome. Ooh, I'm excited to get into some of the other shades. Fresh Leaves, 042. See what like some of the reds and pinks and purples are like. I am pressing kind of hard because uh, when I do swatching videos, I like to do that, but I'm not press. I'm pressing like medium hard, not as hard as I can. Foliage green. This is zero forty. That's a pretty green. A little bit off, right? Like I said, that's kind of par for the course for your more budget friendlies. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, another reason why I wanted to get these is they are very budget friendly. I got these on a deal this past week. They were only $25 and some odd change. So um, another reason I wanted to try them. Normally, I think they're just right around 30 bucks. 0.29. This is Malachite. Okay, kind of a minty green, sort of. And we have grass green, 041. Ooh, that's pretty. A little bit of dust, but not much at all considering you know i'm coloring harder with them moon yellow 051 so nice pale color very light yellow green that's pretty so here we're going to get into some very light colors. This one is cream 047. So this, uh, this one will be right up at the top of the color chart. Let's move you up a little. Okay. 
Then we have light khaki, 049. Can't believe the lay down of the, you know, these are very pigmented for as inexpensive as they are. 048 Mimosa. Oh, there it tip broke off. Again, could have something with, you know, me pressing hard on them too. 053 Yellow. That's a pretty yellow. Now we'll be getting into some deeper yellows as we go on. Champagne yellow, 050. Some nice sunny yellows. Then we have canary yellow. Oh my gosh, I'm on low battery mode already. Wow, okay, get your back on my iPad here. Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of watch that. I may have to pause for you guys and I may have to go recharge my phone and come back. 052 so I'll probably finish this up tomorrow canary yellow because it would take me a while it's kind of getting late at night already it would take a while to charge my phone up enough okay maybe we can get through this first tray this one is marigold 054 Oh, I like that. So yeah, I had done a few videos before this, like a color and chat and some flip throughs, but I didn't think my phone would be that low already. 055 golden rod. Ooh. Kind of an orangey yellow. Here we have amber, 056. So far the color names pretty closely, you know, represent the color itself. The, you know, the tips don't always necessarily match perfectly. Um, but the color names so far are pretty good. Sometimes, as we know, they can be uh, really bizarre where the name will be like a green and or it'll be like a yellow and it's a green color or something even more bizarre than that. 058 Tangerine. But so far these are pretty good. Pretty orange. Here are some very light colors we're going to go through them. Here is wheat, 046. These will all be up at the top. Very pale yellow. Then we have apricot 077. So this could possibly be skin tone. We'll see if it's too pinky. Pinkish, pinky. Yeah. 
guess not perfect, but it, you know, blended with something it could be. And uh, papaya whip yellow. 133. Papaya whip yellow. Hmm. Okay, that's on the yellow side. We'll see if we have any good skin tones in here. This one is called Peach Puff 076. So maybe this one will be a skin tone. That one's kind of dark too yet, right? Wait a minute. I didn't write it down. Peach Puff. I like some of these names. Peach Puff. There's a couple of lighter pinks. Floral pink, 126. And we may have some skin tones down the way too. I would think so. Oh, that's a pretty light pink. And then we have pink, 081. I am loving the fact that this color name is so easy to read. Oh, those two would be beautiful blended together, wouldn't they? And we have a light tomato or tomato, 122, <laughs> depending how you say it, potato, potato. Light to my two. That's a pretty orangey red. And dark peach, 121. Let's move up a little. And it definitely is a dark peach. <laughs> okay, getting into some more oranges. Tropical Orange 057. That's a pretty orange. Yeah, now we're going to get darker and darker into the orange. Gold orange. One, two, three. Okay, that one's a little bit lighter than the previous one. As I guess the name implies, like I said, there's doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to how they, <clears throat> excuse me, how they put them in the trays. And we have Sun Orange 061. I'm going to take a sip here quick. Throat's getting dry. Ah, okay. Okay, and then we have orange red zero fifty nine. Very pretty. My gosh, do you hear my stomach? Wow. <laughs> He's yelling at me about something. 062 Scarlet. And it wasn't because it wanted to be fed. I don't know. Okay, getting more into the red side of oranges. 
And dark salmon, 0 0.63. Darker and darker. And orange, zero sixty. At least they don't have all these really bizarre numbers. You know, these kind of are all not exactly going in order, but kind of, sort of. Oh, that's a pretty orange red. Not orange, but orange red, so I guess that one didn't really coordinate. <laughs> Cherry red, 125. Ooh, I like that. Now, because this is such toothy paper, even though I am pressing medium hard, you will see some of the white tooth coming through. But that allows for some nice blending. So, Indian Red, 124. And then we have Rose, 0, 070. Don't you think of Rose as being more pink? <laughs> what I just get done saying a little while ago, these color names are, you know, closely re represent <laughs> the color. <laughs> Fuchsia, 067. Again, isn't that kind of on the pinky side normally? But it's definitely red here. And finally, in this tray, we have warm orange, 146. And I think I'll keep swatching until my phone tells me I'm down a 10%. Because I must have been down a 20% before. So that is a nice dark orange. Let us go on to tray two. <coughs> okay, now this one may be a skin tone. Sand Brown 080. Mm, kind of, sort of. <laughs> and honey orange, 0, 079. Okay, these, you know could be used for skin tones, like I said, with, you know, different blends and things. Light Salmon, 078. Now I can see why these got the high ratings. They did. Oh, that's a pretty light pink. Not Definitely not salmon at all, but oh, this one, let's see. Light pink, 082. Now the barrel makes it look like it's a light lavender, and so. But like I said, don't go by the tip of the pencil. 
Oh, I like that. Hence the need for color charts. <laughs> oh, we have some really pretty pinks coming up. Flamingo 084. So we're getting into some bright, pretty colors. And that is definitely a flamingo color. We have pearl pink 086. A little bit different shade of pink. And coral pink, 085, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty too. And getting hard to get out of them trays in there. Baby pink, 083. Now, I guess baby pink, you'd think of a pastel. Whoops. Oh, that is pretty. Each one is just a hair different. These two are real similar, but it's just a hair different. And hot pink 087. And you do run across that a lot in these large sets where you have colors very similar. One subscriber pointed out one good point about that though is if you have a color that you just love and you run out of it, same with markers, especially for markers because alcohol ink runs out and uh, water-based markers run out much faster than you run out of a pencil. But you run out of one of the colors, you have another one that's very similar. So that was a good point. <laughs> Magenta 088. Oh, pretty. Sorry, I just got a message up on my watch that tells me, this is kind of nice, my uh, battery on my iPhone is down to 13%, so <laughs> I guess I know. Spinal Red, 0.90. So we're getting down to that 10%. We'll maybe finish this page and then stop for now. This color is a little more crumbly, but boy, is that a pretty color. Getting into some darker red soon. Coral 064. And it's a pretty deep coral. And we have Carmine 070. Is that a five? Yes. Like I said, these you can see very easily, but I have a light right under here that's shining right on them. <laughs> I do like the fact that the printing is nice and big. Carmine and tomato, tomato, tomato. What was the other one? Oh, light tomato. So we, now we have tomato. All right.
right. And then we have light coral 068. I always feel like I'm wasting your time when I'm writing, so it <laughs> bothers me writing that all down. Now, light coral is a definite pretty red. <laughs> Vermilion 066. Now, some brands make vermilion with two L's and some make it with one. You ever notice that? This one makes it with one. So we get into a deeper red. And this one's called Red <laughs> 071. A little bit of a different tone. And wow, this works out really good because we just have three more of the deeper reds. Strong red 074. So it'll be the perfect point for me to stop the video and charge my phone and then continue this tomorrow. And it'll only be like a second pause for you. And Cerise 069. Why do I forget that? Another pretty red. Now, the tips on these reds were much darker. I thought we were really going to be getting into some deep reds, but Cardinal Red 110. Okay, and this one is a little darker. All right, folks, I am going to leave this right out on my desk because I don't have Miss Madison yet tomorrow, with tomorrow being Sunday. Not sure when I'm going to have this video up next week, but without having her, I can actually leave this out on my desk because she won't get at it. So, um, for you, it's just going to be a second or two, and I'll be right back. For me, I will go and charge up my phone, and I'll be right back. See you later. Bye. Alrighty, I am back with a fully charged phone. You didn't even miss me. It is now the next day. And we got through the first page of swatching. So let's go on to the next page. And we're going to go into some greens and blue-greens. Okay, let's, uh, let's zoom back in. All right, so we now have metallic forest green, 160. Okay, and now we get into some aquas. Light green, 032. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. And turquoise green zero twenty eight. Ooh, 
shade darker than the light green. Ooh, I like that. And emerald 036. I can read these a little bit better now because it's daylight out. <laughs> Emerald. Okay, and then we have dark sea green, zero thirty eight. Definitely not dark sea green <laughs> but it's very pretty come out pale green 039 it's so much fun swatching <laughs> I know it's definitely not some people's thing of uh, their not their idea of fun but it is for me I know there are some of us who love our swatching and organizing. Zero thirty four light sea green. Am I on camera yet? Yeah. Another pretty green. And we have forest green. And there's kind of a true green. Now we get into some darker ones. Here is green 031. And mint zero twenty three. Again, this does not look to be a mint green, it's a darker green. So, never mind what I said in the beginning about the color names being pretty accurate. No, <laughs> no longer the case. <laughs> Olive. 027. This one does look like it is an olive green. Yes. And moss green 026. A little bit lighter. Cyan blue. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this does not look blue to me. Definitely not. Kind of a tealish color. What? I am. Oh. Why? Did you want to remember Carmel? You running into town? No, I go to Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds good. Zero twenty five, and that is okay. We'll see you later. Dark green. Really could see some of these greens for leaves and trees. Dark slate gray, zero twenty two.
looks to be a very dark green and not a gray. Yes, like a deep pine green or something. Okay, one more green. This is a lighter one. Tawny yellow, 136. Okay, much lighter green, yellowish kind of green. All right, now we get into some blues. Powder blue, 021. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm hoping they have something lighter than that though in this set. Aqua Blue 033. Okay, that is an Aqua Blue. Looks like we have some pretty blues coming up. Dodger Blue 015. Kind of crooked here, ain't I? Dodger blue. Oh, that's pretty. Love that. And one a little bit darker, and that's dark turquoise. Zero, one, six. So some of the color names do fit <laughs> the color and some don't. Oh, that is pretty. A little bit darker. So you wonder who it is that comes up with the color names, right? Okay, we are done with that tray. Let's go on to the third tray. I'm going to take these out of this metal tin, pardon my arm, because it is getting harder and harder to get the pencils out. Okay, let's put that over there. Okay, should hopefully be a little easier now. Turquoise blue, 037. A little bit darker yet. Again, not necessarily matching the cap of the pencil. Medium spring green, 0, 035. Whoops. This is going to be a fun set to get in color order, seeing as how they just put them in willy-nilly. So here is a green mixed in with the blues. Metallic sea green. So here is a metallic. So let's see, seeing as how this is our first metallic, let's see how it goes down and how it looks. Metallic sea green. And when I do make the chart, I'm going to put all the metallics at the end like I've done in the past. Oh, it definitely colors different. It's very, very smooth coloring. Let's see if we can see a shimmer to it. Not really. Not at all. Maybe a little bit. Not much. I don't know if you can see that at all. A little bit. Shows more on camera than what it does in person, actually. So, yeah, little metallic looking. And then we have metallic light blue, 155. Let's 
see what this metallic looks like. Yeah, they are definitely smooth going down. They have a different feel to them. Again, it does have a, a little bit of sheen to it. So they are comprised of something a little different than all of the other pencils. Here we have Steel Blue 138. Oh, I like that. Kind of looks like a cornflower blue, right? Okay, some more aqua blues. Sky blue, 020. Hope I'm not boring you guys to death. <laughs> oh, that's pretty too. I'll be able to tell more once I get them in color order whether we have you know how many colors we have that very closely resemble each other like i can see here these two look very similar this is a shade darker though so azure zero one four i am going to compare some of these color names and the colors of the pencils to some of the other budget-friendly uh, pencil sets that I've recently swatched out and reviewed. See if they're the same. 017 Royal Blue. Again, a little bit different of a shade. Getting into some dark blues now. Here's another metallic. Metallic dark blue, 156. Oh, that's a pretty color. Kind of like a gray blue. Any sheen to that one? Oh yeah. Okay, so the metallics do have a, a sheen to them. And another one. 154 metallic steel blue. So we have three different metallics. Metallic blues so far. Okay, shade darker than the dark blue. Yeah, a little bit of a sheen to it. Okay, let's go up to the top of the next column. And we have mineral blue, 100. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause <laughs> one moment. Oh my heavens, that dog is getting worse and worse. Could have swore a dog was walking past because that's how crazy she gets. It was just two people out enjoying the beautiful day we have here. Okay, got that one done. We are in the 50s today. Woohoo! Light sapphire, 145. Our warmest day yet. Nice and sunny. Snow is melting. Yay. Ooh, that's pretty too. Lot of pretty blues in here. Peacock blue. Zero, 013. So hopefully we won't have the dog barking anymore, but no guarantees because Bob left now. So he's not in there to 
shush her up. So I may have to pause again. With it being so gorgeous out, I imagine people are going to be out walking dogs and just taking walks. Dark Mineral Blue 096. Ooh, kind of on the more purplish side, a little bit of purple in there. Ultramarine, zero, one, eight. And we have a deep sky blue, zero, one, nine. Okay, and then we have slate blue, one, forty. Some of these blues are quite similar, just a tad different, but yeah. And that's what you get when you get these huge sets of pencils. <laughs> Prussian blue, 0, 10. Okay, we're getting into some darker blues. And Sapphire zero eleven. Okay, kind of a denim type of blue. And now we are going to be getting into some purples. Medium purple zero ninety nine. Looks very light to me, but. We will go with what is printed on the pencil. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. I gotta see where I'm at here. Yeah. Cornflower blue. Okay. All right, so we went with medium purple. Getting out of order here. Light Orchid, zero, 129. So we're getting into my favorite colors. Oh, gorgeous. And then Orchid, 127. Move up a bit. Oh, so pretty. And light purple, 139. Gorgeous. I love how the light purple is darker than the medium purple. <laughs> it's like, how do they name these? <laughs> Cornflower blue, 097. I don't know if they just pick a color out of a hat. And, okay, that's what we're going to call it. <laughs> yeah, that definitely will go with the blues. And it looks like we have another metallic. Yep, metallic violet, 159.
everybody enjoying their beverage yet have your feet up <laughs> or enjoying your coloring diamond painting Let's see if that one has a sheen to it oh yeah nice so these metallics work really good in the steampunk pictures metallic rose gold zero zero four Okay, just a little bit different. This one's not quite as smooth as the other metallics. Feels very similar to the other pencils. Rose pink, 089. Ooh, love that. But again, that looks very similar to that. Maybe just a hair lighter. Opera Mauve. Hmm. 092. Gorgeous. Getting into some of our deeper purples. Here's medium orchid. Oh, love that color. That's one of my favorite purples. Is that pronounced heliotrope? 094. I've heard of the color name before. Wasn't quite sure how it's pronounced. And a purple. 093. pencil comes out of the tray it does not want to be swatched there we go we have violet 0 98 different shade And blue, yeah, so now we're getting into, I'm not sure, kind of violet blues, or blue violets, I should say. Always put the primary color name before the secondary. <laughs> so red orange and blue violet, 0, 0.95, cerulean blue. Now, some of these colors over here remind me of cerulean blue. Oops. Let's get that E on there. Oh, that is a pretty deep violet blue, though. Blue violet. What was I just saying? Okay. And we have indigo 101. Gorgeous. Dark magenta, one, one, five. OK, 
in another different shade of purple. Mallow 091. Okay, kind of similar, but yet it again different, a little bit different of a shade. Old Rose 109. Oh, that's pretty. And just two more in this tray. We have Maroon 113. And it actually is a maroon. <laughs> Last in the tray is medium violet red, one, one, twelve. Just a shade darker. All right. Let us go on to the last tray and the last page. <laughs> Get to the top here. All right, we have. Let me take a sip quick. Getting dry mouth. <laughs> We have zero, nope, we have one zero four chrome yellow. Because now we're going to get into some earth tones. And yeah, I think I would put that up by the yellows. Dark goldenrod, one. 30. It's kind of all up to interpretation where a person puts some of these colors. Some may put it, you know, up by the yellow, some put it down by earth tones. Same with the blues and purples and, you know, everybody interprets the colors a little bit differently. Kumquat and that's it, 144. Jasmine, 103. And khaki, 102. Let me move this over a little bit so I can write a little bit easier. That's a pretty brown. Okay, it looks like we have a number of metallics here. Let's do that one first, and then we'll get into the three metallics. We have 131 Light Saddle Brown. Oh, that's pretty, too. Like that. Okay, let's go into these metallics. Here we have metallic gold zero zero three. 
Oh yeah, definitely smoother. And we have metallic ochre. Hmm. Again, I'm going to put all these metallics down at the end. Well, that's cool. This one does not feel metallic. After we do these three, we'll see if there's a shine to these. And metallic khaki, 152. Okay, and they are all different. This one, again, is very smooth. Let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit of shine there. Not really showing up in the camera. Not a lot, though. I don't see on these browns a whole lot of shine, which is unfortunate because the golds and stuff that would be really nice to have a nice shimmer to them and so hmm okay then we have a bronze 107 those metallics would look really nice for like you know the steampunk and stuff i see they do have one metallic silver shade so there is that so we'll see what that one looks like when we get down towards the grays 151 T red oh these are some pretty browns this one very much on the red side. Light chocolate, 128. always use all our earth tones and so dark red 072 that is definitely a dark red this is one I I'll be moving sienna 073 And chocolate one one six. Wish they quit talking about chocolate. <laughs> okay, a lot of them along this line. This one is a hair darker. Peru one oh six. I don't know if I've ever heard of that one before. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Burgundy, 108. I have yet to figure out what is wrong with my printer. I have cleaned absolutely everything I can think of and I still get this gray shadowing down my paper and with this type of paper because it's so toothy it gets real light on this left side with oh, that burgundy is pretty. so yeah I ain't gotta putz around with it yet 105 camo
Okay, getting into our darker browns. Coconut brown, one, one, seven. Saddle brown, one, one, four. Who's hanging in there with me yet? Have you watched up to this point? <laughs> God bless you if you have. <laughs> okay, last column. We have Light Camel, 148. Of course, I will be linking these down below in the description. I don't know if they still have that special deal on. Oh, that's pretty, too. Um, I have not looked at it today, so. 120, Dark Olive Green. Took me one day to get these. <laughs> I ordered them like in the afternoon. I got them the next day in the mail. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that is service. Oh, and that is definitely a dark olive green. It'll be moved. And coffee. Breakfast of champions, right? <laughs> I am not a coffee drinker, believe it or not. One thing I never got into. Very dark brown. Dark maroon, 132. Bob would not be able to live without his coffee. Oh yeah, that'll get moved too. That is dark marine. Just a few more browns. Sepia, 119. Which usually is a very dark brown. Yes. Almost black. Burnt Umber, 135. And we'll take a look at all the colors as a whole. And then we are going to go on the back side of this paper. We're going to see if we can do a blend with these pencils. In the past, I have not done that, but I would get that question periodically. So I thought, well... Let's just go ahead and try it. 142 Dark Coffee. I know yesterday I said, uh, or earlier in the video for you, uh, I said I was going to try blending yellow, orange, and red, but I think we'll try blending some greens together. 143 Nut Brown. Because that's a very common blend. Or like earth tones, that's another one. All right, now we're getting into the grays. Here is that silver. Metallic silver, zero, zero, two. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it actually has a metallic sheen to it. Very smooth. Okay, let's see. Oh, it does. Yay. It's probably one of the shinier metallics. Awesome. Good news. Okay, light gray, zero, zero, 
we're on the home stretch now folks <laughs> if you're awake yet quite a few grays for those of you who like your grays for shading and what not 149 white smoke And let's get a couple more out here. It's easier to take a couple out at a time. <laughs> Medium gray, 137. A little bit darker with pausing a couple times I really have no idea how long this video is dark gray 007 but I am sure it is getting up there so hopefully those of you who like this uh, color swatching or enjoying this dark moss green 134 okay hmm that is a different shade and not sure if I'm leaving it there yet or not does very much have a great tone to it gray 008 okay we're getting darker now let me take the rest of these out Dim gray zero zero six. So we do have some cool grays, some warm grays, and we do have another metallic, metallic dark gray. Again, would be awesome if it is truly metallic. Oh my, definitely not a dark gray. <laughs> Where's the other metallic? Very, very, very different shades. Again, let's see. This one doesn't seem to have quite as much shine. Oh, I guess it does. Okay, so there's another option for a metallic gray. Has a bit of almost a bit of purple to it then we have well let's take this one black iron I think will be right before the black dark lividity this is another real dark one though yeah very very dark gray Then we have black iron, 141. Which is very close to black. Now I always like to see in both pencils and markers how deep and true of a black we have. So here's 005 black. Oh, that is a nice black. 
Okay, there we have it, folks. Whew. <laughs> okay, let's back back out. All right, here we go. Now again, with the order being what they are, it's going to be, you know, kind of hit or miss with some of these colors, whether they're the same or not, because we start out with greens, these beautiful spring greens. I think, I think they're very pretty, Lot quite a few yellows and oranges. We do have some skin tones, but I think, you know, that's one thing they could have done better in the light skin tones. A lot of pinks are the same. A lot of reds are very similar. The oranges too. But again, this is what you get in these large sets. It's not uncommon. I do wish too that they had a much lighter blue. At least one. One really light pale blue. Again, some of these are quite similar. I think the purples are nice. Could use one or two in there, but quite nice. Sometimes you don't get many purples in a set. Here's some additional deep yellows, or again, some of you may leave these by the earth tones. And the earth tones, look at all of them, which of course would also be your dark, darker skin tones. Again, some very, very similar. Um, and then quite a few grays. I myself, as I've said in the past, am glad there's not any more than this. But I know there are those of you out there who love your grays. Uh, because you do actually layer and shade and all of that fun stuff. Um, I don't do that, so... I think it's an awesome set. I really do. They lay down color very, very nice. Um, let's pick out some greens that I think would maybe blend together. So let's go from here to here. Let's pick out fresh leaves, which is in the first tray. This is going to be fun to try to find these colors. Okay. Fresh leaves. That one is right here if I can get it out. Okay, so let's use that. We'll go from fresh leaves to, I don't want to, you know, go too dark too fast. Maybe this foliage green, which is right next door, so that's easy to find. And then we'll go to a deeper green. Let's see. How about going to green? <laughs> okay, let's try that. Let's see if I can find that. Okay. Green, green. Here it is. That wasn't too hard. Okay. Let's go on the back of this first sheet. Okay, now some people blend one way, some people blend another way. Um, you know, some go where, I'm going to turn this to the side, you know, where you color the whole thing with your lightest color very lightly. Then you come in and you go over it with your medium, go back over it with your light, come in with your dark, go back over. I don't do that. <laughs> I'm heavy handed. I start with my darkest color, blend to my lightest or my medium and blend to my lightest. That's how I've always done it. Works great with the Prismas. So we'll see how it works with this. So I start out with very hard pressure. And then I lighten up my pressure so that my medium color can blend into that. So then we go into the medium, go back over our dark, again with hard pressure, 
come down here and eventually lighten up again. I know this is done very sloppy, but gives us an idea. And now with our lightest, we kind of burnish in all of the colors. So I think they're actually blending quite nice. Again, this is a toothy paper, so you are going to see some of the white coming through. Um, but there are a number of things that you can do to combat that. You can use solvents. You can use your blender pencils. Matter of fact, let me see if I have this one sharpened. Yeah, this is the Prismacolor blender. Let's see how this works on here. Because some of our coloring books are toothier. Oh, this is working really good. Look at that blend. Whoops, don't ever do that. I don't have my brush here. But look at that. Let me zoom in a little bit. I think they blend together great. And the three colors I picked work really good together and it works awesome with the Prismacolor blender pencil. Wow, I am impressed. I really am. Hmm, okay. So, I'm not going to try another blend. Um, this video is getting long enough. But I did because I did have the question a few times with the past pencils that I swatched out is if they blend together. Well, we found out with these, yes, they do. And it wasn't that difficult to do it. Did definitely help using the Prismacolor blender on this toothy paper. So we know some of our coloring books do have a toothier type of paper. These may blend together a little bit easier on some of the little bit smoother paper. Um, but yeah, that worked really well. Okay, so that is my review of these pencils. And again, let me get the lid. Get all these trays out. I don't. I don't want to spill these. It's been known to happen. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, again, these are the Cool Bank 160 set of colored pencils. And again, I like the fact that on the back. They do give you all of the colors along with the color names. That, I think, is going to help me to get them in a little bit of order um, to start out with. And they do list, like, the metallics up here. I wish they would list all of them together because then they have a bunch of the metallics down here. Um, but it is definitely going to help me because they have them in better order on here <laughs> rather than what they have in the trays. I'm surprised they don't go in the trays according to what they have here, um, but they don't. These are a little bit different. Um, so yeah, that is my review of these pencils. I apologize for having this video go so long, but those of you who like the swatching videos, I am hoping you enjoyed this. If you did like this, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.